The Chicago Bears are going to be busy this offseason in an attempt to right the ship, despite the fact that they snuck into the playoffs in 2020 after an 8-8 record in the regular season. They lost in the first round to the New Orleans Saints 21-9, and they have a bunch of questions to answer during the free agency period. Head coach Matt Nagy flipped between Nick Foles and Mitch Trubisky, and both quarterbacks put up eerily similar numbers. Trubisky finished with 2,055 yards and 16 touchdowns in 10 games and Foles has 1,852 yards and 10 touchdowns in 9 games, and each quarterback threw 8 interceptions. The Bears are more than likely going to be moving on from both Foles and Trubisky, and the latest reports were that Carson Wentz was a target on the trade market for Chicago, although those talks have died down in the past few days. Still, the Bears have work to do, and even though they made the playoffs, an 8-8 mark usually won't get you a postseason berth. The Bears will have around $10 million in cap space, although that number could change when the league decides what to do with the number after the pandemic messed up a lot of the financial situations. Alan Robinso is likely to play elsewhere next season, and the Bears have some moves to make, with quarterback obviously the most pressing. There will be cuts, and here's one player that will most likely be playing elsewhere in 2021. Tight ends Jimmy Graham. This isn't necessarily a surprise, or maybe it is because of how good of a player Graham has been throughout his entire career. Still, they just don't need him, especially considering the fact that he has a cap hit of $10 million in 2021. Graham had a good year in 2020, which is why this might be a bit of a shocker, and the offense needs some sort of veteran presence. He finished 2020 with 50 catches for 456 yards and 8 scores and he played in all 16 games for the Bears. He's really good, even at the age of 34, but with a double-digit cap number, and the fact that the Bears have a ton of free agent decisions to make, they could benefit more from letting him go and using the money elsewhere. Graham would probably love to play for a contender, and if he is let go, he should find another team rather quickly as the tight end market is rather barren apart from the top few options this offseason. Moreover, Cole Komet is an up-and-coming rookie, and there's a reason they took him in the second round of the draft in 2020 out of Notre Dame. The kid can play and should be the number one tight end in Chicago for years to come. Komet only had 28 catches for 243 yards and two scores last season, but he really came on over the last month and quickly became a go-to target for the Bears' offense. With Robinson likely headed out of town, and rumors of Tariq Cohen being sent away in a Wentz deal, Komet could easily be the number one target in Chicago, although it all depends on who the quarterback is. The Bears' roster will look much different in 2021 with a ton of their players becoming free agents. Aside from Robinson, guys like Corderell Patterson, Barkevius Mingo, Trubic C, and a bunch of others, so the more cap space they have the better. Nagy's seat got hot during the season, especially considering the fact that the Bears started 5-1 before losing six straight, then winning three in a row and somehow sneaking into the playoffs with a .500 record. They need a major upgrade, especially on the, especially on the offensive side of the football. Running back David Montgomery is promising, and wide receiver Darnell Mooney surprised many last season, but losing Robinson and potentially Cohen will be huge for this team. The Bears are in for a busy offseason, and Graham most likely won't be the only player cut, but his cap hit going into 2021 might be too much for them to hold on to in a year where they need to make upgrades unless Nagy is wanting out of Chicago altogether. Free agency is right around the corner, and the Wentz trade surfaced during Super Bowl week and then disappeared. However, expect the Bears to make some noise and big changes, whether it be getting Wentz or somebody else sooner rather than later. Chicago has to do a lot better than it did this past season. Merely getting the number 7 seed in the NFC won't be something this franchise ought to tolerate. Beating the Packers and taking control of the NFC North must be the goal, and that requires painful decisions.